Plasun is leader in lighting and electrical test instruments. Hello everyone, this is Daisy. Let me introduce to you the installation and use of the LVD 100 kg electrodynamic vibration generator system. The following is the video catalog. 1. Packing list. 2. Operation steps. 3. Export and view vibration curve. Lassun has two models of electrodynamic vibration generator. One is a four-direction spatial vibration table. Vertical and horizontal. The model is LVD 100 kg. The other is six-direction spatial vibration table. Vertical direction, left-right horizontal direction and front-back horizontal direction. The model is LVD 100 kg 6D. Please check the packing list when you receive the shipment. There are two wooden boxes. One box is the vibration table. The other box is the control cabinet. The vibration table is heavy. Please be careful when you move it. Open all packages and take out all equipment and accessories. This is the handheld vibrometer. It's used to check the actual working condition of the vibration table. This is a strap that used to fix the sample. You can also use other methods to fix the sample on the vibration table. This is the foot cup for fixing the vibration table. Put the four feet of the vibration table in the foot cups. Then fix the foot cup on the ground with screws to prevent the vibration table from moving during the test. There is also a plastic bag in the package that contains a CD, calibrate certificates, and guarantee cards. There is software, user manual, operation video and related standards in the CD. Connect the two cables of the vibration table to the control cabinet. Connect the power cord of the control cabinet to a 220 volts 50 Hz power source. Turn on the control cabinet. Fix the sample on the vibration table. Take out the handheld vibrometer. Connect it as shown in the figure. Connect the signal line to the vibrometer. The magnet is connected to the other end of the signal line. Remove the magnet plate. Operate on the touch screen. Mode selection is used to select the test mode and test. System settings and manufacturer information generally do not require any settings. U-Disk data is used to export test data. Click Mode Selection. Test modes include, Vertical Fixed Frequency, Vertical Sweep Frequency, Level Fixed Frequency, Level Sweep Frequency, Longitudinal Fixed Frequency, Longitudinal Sweep Frequency, Programmable Fixed Frequency, and Programmable Sweep Frequency. Level and Longitudinal are the two horizontal test directions. Fixed Frequency Test The interface and operation of Vertical Fixed Frequency, Horizontal Fixed Frequency and Longitudinal Fixed Frequency are the same. Take Vertical Fixed Frequency as an example. Click to enter the Vertical Fixed Frequency interface. The top half shows real-time values. The bottom half shows the setting values. The parameters that need to be set are test time, vibration frequency, and vibration strength. According to the different sample weight and center of gravity, the same vibration strength, the amplitude is different. So before the formal test, you need to confirm the vibration strength according to the vibration frequency in your sample. You can enter a longer test time first. Enter the desired vibration frequency. Enter a small value for strength such as 10%. Click Start. The real-time strength reaches the set strength after a while. Attach the vibrometer magnet to the surface consistent with the vibration direction. If it vibrates vertically, attach the magnet on the top. If it vibrates horizontally, attach the magnet on the side in the same direction as the vibration. Turn on the vibrometer and adjust it to the displacement gear. Check the vibration amplitude. Then fine tune the vibration strength according to the difference between the actual amplitude and the standard required amplitude. 
The greater the strength, the greater the amplitude. The smaller the strength, and the smaller the amplitude. After confirming the required vibration strength, re-enter the required test time, frequency, and strength. Start the test. Frequency Sweep Test We can also confirm all the vibration strength according to the different frequency and required amplitudes in the fixed frequency test interface. The interface and operation of Vertical Frequency Sweep Test and Horizontal Frequency Sweep Test are the same. Take the Vertical Frequency Sweep Test as an example. Click to enter the Vertical Frequency Sweep Test interface. The top half shows real-time values. The bottom half shows the setting values. The parameters that need to be set are total test time, low frequency test frequency, low frequency test strength, low frequency test time, high frequency test frequency, high frequency test strength and high frequency test time. Click to start the test. Programmable fixed frequency test. Click to enter the interface. This interface is real-time values. Click next to enter the setting interface. The parameters that need to be set are as follows. The vibration direction required for each test segment. Only one vibration direction can be selected in the same segment. The vibration frequency, vibration strength, and test time are required for each test segment. Set the interval time between two segments. Repeat times. If the three segment test is not enough, you can click next to enter the fourth, fifth, and sixth segments test settings. After all the setting, you can click back to return to the real time values interface. Click start to start the test. Programmable frequency sweep test. Click to enter the interface. This interface is real time values. Click next to enter the setting interface. The parameters that need to be set are as follows. The vibration direction required for each segment. Only one vibration direction can be selected in the same segment. The low frequency test frequency, low frequency vibration strength, high frequency test frequency, high frequency vibration strength, total test time, low frequency test time, high frequency test time. The interval time between two segments. Repeat times. If the three segment test is not enough, you can click next to enter the fourth, fifth, and sixth segment test settings. After all the setting, you can click back to add to the real time values interface. Click start to start the test. Insert the USB pen drive into the USB port of the control cabinet. Back to the initial interface. Click U Disk Data. Select the time start point and end point of the curve to be viewed. Click Data to U Disk. To avoid being unable to export files, you can view the real time status. Double click to install DL View. Open the software and open the file to view the vibration curve. Thanks for watching.